Far too many lives have been upended because of failed approach to marijuana. And I'm committed to righting those wrongs. That's the promise from President Biden as his Justice Department officially moves to reclassify marijuana as a less dangerous drug. This is monumental. Currently, marijuana is a Schedule I drug, along with heroin, LSD, and ecstasy. Drugs the government says have no accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse. If the DOJ's proposal is approved, marijuana would become a Schedule III drug, alongside ketamine, some steroids, and other substances with moderate to low risk of addiction. No one should be in jail for using or possessing marijuana. The move is likely to be a popular one among younger voters, a key group Biden is losing ground with. A recent Fox News poll shows his approval with voters under 30 has dwindled to 49 percent. But some Democrats think they'll come around. They're not going anywhere. If you think they're going to sit on the sideline and not vote, you're wrong. It's now up to the DEA to make the final decision on marijuana's classification, but it's unlikely they'll shoot down the proposal given the president's support. But not all law enforcement is on board. I tragically lost a son, an 11-month-old granddaughter and a daughter-in-law to somebody who was driving under the influence of alcohol and marijuana. I think any drugs that alter somebody's mental state or can put somebody else's life at risk should not be tolerated. The proposal would not make marijuana legal, but Fox News polling shows 69 percent of registered voters would support such a move. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.